A Teeny Tiny Halloween, written by Lauren L. Wall, illustrated by Henry Cole. There is a teeny tiny woman who lives in a teeny tiny house in a very big forest. About this time every year, when the weather grows cool, the teeny tiny woman has a problem that is not so teeny tiny. The wind comes howling through the trees and the leaves fall, 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 until the teeny tiny house is buried from the ground to the roof. Inside the teeny tiny house is dark as midnight. It is to be sure a teeny tiny bit scary. Oh, who will save me? cries the teeny tiny woman in her teeny tiny voice. No one hears her. She tries a teeny tiny bit louder. Oh, who will save me? Then one more time as loud as she can. Oh, who will save me? Still, no one comes. What to do? The teeny tiny woman opens a teeny tiny drawer and takes out a teeny tiny teaspoon. She taps it on the window over her teeny tiny table. Tap, 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 but no one comes. I'm going to have to tap louder than that, says the teeny tiny woman to herself. She reaches into the drawer again and grabs her biggest wooden mixing spoon. Tap, 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 still no one comes. How can she make more noise? The teeny tiny woman looks around. She opens her cupboard doors. Aha, she says in her teeny tiny voice. I will bang my pots and pans together. Someone is sure to hear that. She clangs her soup pot and her fry pan together. Not loud enough. She pulls out her cookie sheets, all three, and crashes them together. Nothing. Now what? The teeny tiny woman wonders. Hmm. Then, looking at her cookie sheets and her wooden spoon, she has an idea. She takes a teeny tiny bowl from her teeny tiny cupboard, and she mixes up sugar and butter and flour and eggs with just the teeniest, tiniest dash of vanilla and a teeny tiny mountain of chocolate chips. She plops teeny tiny spoonfuls of batter on her cookie sheet and carries the tray to the oven. While the cookies bake, an orange cat, a ghost, and a witch are walking in the forest near the teeny tiny house. Sniff, sniff, the cat says. I smell cookies, the witch announces. Where is that delicious smell coming from, the ghost asks. All they see covering the forest floor are leaves and twigs and pine needles and more leaves. But wait, one pile of leaves is in the shape of a house. They begin to dig. The cat on all fours kicks away the dry leaves. Crackle, crackle. The witch sweeps leaves away with her broom. Swish, swish. And the ghost fans them away with his billowing sleeves. Woo, woo. Inside the teeny tiny house, the teeny tiny woman puts on her teeny tiny potholder glove and takes the cookies from the oven. They are golden and melty and gooey. This may be my best batch ever she says in her teeny tiny voice, much better than last year's. She carries the tray to the teeny tiny table near the teeny tiny window. Outside, the smell is so delicious and tempting that the cat, the witch, and the ghost dig even faster. Soon they uncover a teeny tiny chimney. They dig faster still and discover the roof of a teeny tiny house. It's a teeny tiny house, the witch says. They dig some more. They see the teeny tiny door, push all the leaves away, and knock. Thump, thump, thump. The teeny tiny woman takes three teeny tiny steps toward the door. She takes a deep breath, and she asks, loud as she can, who's there? Did you hear something? The ghost asks. Maybe, the witch says. The cat knocks one more time, and all three shout, trick or treat! The teeny tiny woman claps her teeny tiny hands. She opens the teeny tiny door. There is a cat and a witch and a ghost, but the teeny tiny woman is not the teeniest bit scared. She smiles her warmest teeny tiny smile and in her happiest voice bellows, welcome, I've been waiting for you. Then all four sit down and eat the teeny tiny chocolate chip cookies. Yum, yum, yum.